How's it going, guys? Today, we're here to do our walkthrough, or I always say walkthrough, our playthrough of Mystic Guardian. Now, I have played a little bit of Mystic Guardian back in the day, but I'd never at the time ever did a playthrough on my channel. So, this will be the first time uh, doing the playthrough of this game on my channel that's actually going to be a full playthrough. And uh, so, yeah, it's actually a really fun game. I've, like I said, I've played it in the past and I actually like it a lot. So, we're going to go to story mode. And you choose between Rain, or Rain, Ray and Kanan, I think it's his name. And I'm pretty sure I chose Ray last time, so we're going to go with him. Uh, let's see, advance money and gold increases by two times when hunting. So it's kind of like your dungeon crawler, except they added a uh, kind of a campaign story mode to it. And uh, it's actually really fun. I did turn down the volume a bit just so that the music doesn't override my voice. Uh, you know, save. Uh, yeah, we don't care about that. Chapter 1, hunting. Raise chapter 1, hunting. Kind of counter redundant, but okay. And I apologize if the intros, like, like these little cinematics are too loud for you guys. Following tracked up to here so fast, let's go and get rid of it. Uh, the creature is B-type, pretty strong. Support will come soon, let's join. It took us a while to track it and we'll... It will run away if we just leave it. Let's catch it some. Let's catch it somehow first. Okay, but let's be careful. Yeah, that's like ego with that huge head. But yeah, tutorials, strength gauge, SP gauge, stamina gauge. Uh, it indicates the remaining strength of a player when the stamina is zero. The game ends. Uh, this is consumed when you activate skill. Activate to skill cannot be used when there's not enough SP gauge. Uh, let's see here. This is consumed when using basic attack. Okay, so basically your strength gauge is your health, so we all know that. Uh, consumed items, slot window, various recovery items can be registered and used at any time. Uh, you got your mini map. Alright. Uh, oh. Okay, we know about this. And I know about that too. <laughs> I'm just going to skip most of this tutorial stuff here. The game still works. We'll follow the main quest. Mini map on the screen to destination the main quest. Okay, we know all that. Can we actually get to the game? <laughs> Trace the creature. Okay, we know that. Okay, we're finally here. Alright. Before we start the game... Uh, I do want to explain, uh, you may have seen, seen on some of my videos where if you try to make a comment below, it says comments have been turned off. Uh, that feature is not actually done by me, it's actually done by YouTube, and it's part of their COPA uh, protection thing that YouTube has decided to establish. I don't know if it's just on smaller channels, or if it's just channels like game videos that are actually allowed for children to watch. So far what I've seen, everyone else can post a comment. On someone else's video, but I think it might be in lower lower level videos, lower. How can I put it? Lower sub people, maybe I don't know. But uh, from what I've seen, if a video video is restricted to age eighteen and older, you can leave a comment. But if it's related to uh, letting children watch your video, you can't because it stops from you know adding curse words and. Stuff like that that YouTube is trying to cut back down on a lot of videos. So I do apologize if you try to actually leave, leave a comment or something like that. Uh, maybe sometime down the road I might make a Twitter. But just so you guys can leave comments about my videos and stuff like that. But I do apologize if you ever try to leave a comment and you can't. Now you know the reason why. So. Let's start this game. Uh, we'll come over here. Like I said, it's your, kind of your standard dungeon crawler. Okay, all right, we know about that. 
I'm just going to skip most of the tutorial stuff because I already know most about it. Uh, various combos can be obtained through upgrades and class change. Yeah, you can use your little fireball magic in your uh, swords and stuff like that. But like I said, it's a standard dungeon crawler with uh, Ray here. He's more of a punching type of guy, but it adds a little story mode to it. So I actually liked, liked it when I first played it. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you got your spells. And, um... Got, looks like we've got a fireball down here. Or it looks like our dodge. So we got that. And I played maybe like one or two levels of this back in the day. So I actually like it. So hope you guys will too. It is a pretty fun game. Uh, strong monsters will... With blue gauges below, the strength gauge appear from the enemies. Basically, it's blue is basically their shield. Or armor. Whatever game uh, you may have actually played. So you know which enemies or bosses you've ever fought. You know, tend to have something like that, so... So basically, we're locked in. We can't leave until we clear out the area. Some standard RPG dungeon crawlers have that. Devils block the way. So nothing new to me. <laughs> oh yeah. Breaking shields and taking names. Oh, nice. We got a sword. Uh, let's see here. Inventory. Here. Like I said, Ray's more of a physical attacker. So he likes to use his fists. But you can use weapons and stuff like that. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, let, let's just skip that, thank you. <laughs> I could care less about the tutorials, we'll figure this stuff out in our own way. I don't like games that are too handheldy because it's really irritating. Um, where's our sword at? Okay, well, we'll figure that out. I don't want to stall the, stall this any further. Keeps telling me. Skill. Passive. Level that up. So, see, you see, we use gold to level up our skills. Go to the stats here. Okay. Oh, we got three points. Um, so, let's go to HP here. Uh, stamina, crit chance. And uh, so. We'll definitely go this way. Because we're never going to use intelligence anyway, so. Our class. You can tell he's a fighter. You got Nen Master, Street Fighter, Striker, Beast, Gunner, and Soul. And I'm pretty sure we can't use a sword because we're not um, Rain. So, as like I said, Ray is more of a martial artist type of um, character. So, your common standard weapons will be completely useless for you. Right here, did some Street Fighter, Dungeon Crawler style. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, uh, as actual playthroughs that we've actually done, we've done uh, Tyrium and we've done um, oh, what is it called? Medieval. Uh, okay, we got keys. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Give me that. No. no. Thank you. Um, it was Medieval something. I cannot remember the name of it, but it was another good, another really good uh, level based game. Very grindy and very difficult because it was one of the games that it did require you to actually grind and, uh, level up or you would literally get smashed in that game but it was really fun though and if you guys are actually kind of curious why I choose to play games like this because I'm playing on a tablet so unless you have something that's like really good and has like the uh, the uh, horsepower to run it. Like, I would love to do, like, uh, Raid Shadow Legends, but it lags so crazy on my tablet. It's not worth playing. So I try to avoid games like that and try to play ones like these. Uh, I'm in a Pirate Patrol. I was ex 
executing patrol work. The crew has been attacked by the spider creatures. If we fail to return, our boss will be disappointed. Okay, yeah, well, we'll take it. As long as you're paying the gold. Be monster or box, it ain't stopping us. <laughs> uh, what you want? Uh, are you Imperial soldiers? It's best not to pass this place. A scary demon exists. Well, this is according to the information that I searched. If you want to go back, break the box placed on the road, you will be able to find some potions and recover strength. All right, thank you very much. But I ain't afraid of no monster. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Got some more keys. Pretty sure those unlock. Yeah, those unlock the doors like that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm Ellie. As you can see, I'm the wandering merchant. I came to this cave while avoiding the creatures, but I cannot find my brother who came with me, with me to this place. Sure. Like Skyrim, just just take every quest you can get and eventually pay off. Uh, let's see here. Looks like we got nothing but a bunch of boxes down here. Oh nope, got enemies. Take that. Oh, take that too. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go down here. <laughs> Crystal Cave 3. Oh, looks like we're getting attacked by the crab people. Or those spiders. Either way. They're not going to get in our way. So, to give you guys the heads up, um, I finally got my gaming tower up and running. Now, the only problem with it is, is that... Oh, okay, I've got a sword. Awesome. The only problem with this is I found out that I have bad RAM. So, which means I have to buy brand new RAM, but eventually once I get that up and running, uh, some of the f first games we will be doing, if I can ever get like something like OBS to actually work, because I tried OBS in the past, and it would not work, it would, as if anyone knows how to work OBS, it basically captures your desktop screen and then you can record from that whatever game you're playing, whether it be in Windows mode or full screen, depending how you want to play it. Well, with OBS, when I tried to do it, it was recording the game, but it was only recording audio. If you go to actually try to look for the picture, it was nothing but a black screen. And I looked up and down to try to figure out what the problem was. I even looked online, and similar people had the same problem, but no one actually had a straight answer. So, that was, like, really annoying. <laughs> but if I can get OBS to actually run, since it is free recording software, um... Some of the games I would like to uh, stream is like Diablo and Torchlight. So start up some start up some simple games and then work our way up to games I would love to actually try to stream, which would be uh, Dark Souls 2, which I do have on console on the 360, but I've never played on the PC. And I have uh, several friends who play that, and I would love to actually play with them if I can. Okay, looks like we got our first boss here. Or first big guy. Yep. Level 4 enhanced uh, zombie. Oh, no. Not a boss. I take that back. Eat that. <laughs> it's just, uh, hell just like a high-level enemy. Boy, you are not going to win against me. Thank you for the level up. I appreciate it. So, yeah, just to give you guys the heads up on that. So, uh, But I got some important stuff coming up this week that... Uh, Alright, they get out of the way first. So looks like 600 gold, 3 health potions, uh, level 4 sneaking issues. We ain't a sneak. We're not sneaking, but okay. And uh, XP. Or XP elixir. So, if I can manage to get my important stuff out of the way, then, uh, yeah, I'll definitely try to look forward to getting some RAM. What do we got here? Oh, the big boy. Oh, you are a big boy. <laughs> Uh, isn't that one of we were tracking giant we can't face it we need support yeah no kidding we still can't let it just go let's track it until we support arrives really bro <laughs> all 
Uh, trace the creature. All right, let's do our stats here. Since I know we're most likely have to fight the. Oh, we finally get equipment. Okay. Oh, we've got nine points. Wow. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna focus on those because that's what. Uh, that's for magic. So I'm pretty sure SP for the intelligence wise would be for rain. But then again, it's also for using for your spells and stuff like that too. So you know what? That might actually be a pretty good idea to level that up. So we'll put three points in there, get the le at least that to level 20, but we're going to focus most on these. Oh, okay, we already put our nine points in there. Oh, who's looking at stat points? Okay, yeah, we did have nine. Okay. Right, so we're going to do that. Uh, let's go to our equipment. That's not rain. Or, I keep healing rain. That's not rain. Uh, inventory. You can see all your items. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. Thank you very much for your help. But <laughs> we'll figure it out for ourselves. Put our boots on there. Equip those bad boys. We've got some rings in here. What does this do? Uh, I guess it's a little more extra P. All right, that works. Pretty sure. Okay, yeah. So that can use swords. So completely useless to us. Uh, let's go to equipment. We'll equip that. So we got a pair of uh, pants here. Looks like level two leather pants. Okay. Why can we not wear those? Oh, that's what we were wearing for the uh, sneakers that we had. Yes. Recipes. What is this? We've got swords in here. Um. Okay. Minor. Okay. What are we doing here? Some of this stuff I'll have to figure out off screen. Uh, level zero increases the rate of armor increases. What? Increases the rate of armor increase. Increase based on your vitality. That literally makes no sense. <laughs> uh, increases your SP regeneration rate. Uh, what do we got here? Increases the rate of critical hit chance. Increases based on your dexterity. Okay, okay. Uh, increases your stamina regeneration. That wouldn't be too bad, actually. Increases knockback resistance. And increases... Oh, health regen. Yeah, we're getting that. How much gold do we have? Apparently, we have enough gold to get one of those ones. So we got summons. We got quest options. Okay. All right, yeah, definitely getting health regenerated. Okay, we got gold right there. <laughs> we spent most of our gold just leveling up. All right. Oh, we're taking level four enemies. We're level five? All right. I can dig it. Oh, thank you very much. So, ooh, we're not going down that way yet. Hope you guys' is, uh, what is it, Saturday's going good for you guys? Coming in a cheery mood since we're gonna be starting our since we're doing our playthrough here. So if I sound more cheery than usual, that's the reason why. Thank you for dying, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got a chest down here. You wanna get that chest for me, there, buddy? Thank you very much. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, trace creature two. Okay, that's the quest. Uh, which way are we going? I guess we're going this way. Howdy, boys. How's it going? <laughs> Standing no chance. Awesome, awesome. Looks like we got some uh, materials down here. All right, cool, cool. Take those keys. Oop. Can you me get the keys there? Like I said, I'll try to keep each of these videos between like 15 to 20 minutes long, at most. I try not to go over 15 minutes because uh, having a really slow computer <laughs> takes about like an hour just to do an upload, so it kind of really sucks. But Be a crab person or a spider person, and it ain't gonna work out for you. The only difference is, is be dipping you in some butter. Alright, we'll look at my 
time here real quick. We're at, oh, okay, we're at 20 minutes. All right, guys, so we're going to leave right there. I apologize, but uh, anything over 25 minutes takes a little longer than I want. So, yeah, we're going to leave it right here, and um, hope you guys, this Saturday is going good. This is our walkthrough, so I apologize for chattering for most of the beginning of the video, but this is the walkthrough, playthrough, whatever you want to call it, that we will be doing until we actually uh, beat the game. All right, catch you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.